Hello and welcome to this webinar, Employment Law and Criminal Law, Simplifying the Complexities. My name is Paul Jennings. I'm a partner and head of employment at Bates Wells. Uh, and over the course of this session, we will look at the practical relationship between employment law on the one hand and criminal law on the other and where they can collide, where they can create complexity and um, some rules, um, some principles around navigating that potentially difficult overlap between the two the two disciplines. In terms of the content, I'm going to start with some workshop scenarios, and those workshop scenarios are based on real uh, cases, semi-recent cases. We have adjusted the identity of the individuals. We have tweaked the facts uh, so as to preserve the anonymity of those involved. But they are they are real authentic situations um, and what they do uh, although some of them are slightly uncommon they shine a light on the issues that surface in practice so they're good workshop scenarios they're a good opportunity to sort of root the theory and practice and i think if we start with those and we constantly refer back to them uh, it gives a better sense of how of how this complex overlap can be addressed how it can be navigated as i say uh, and it's a good opportunity to, um, I suppose, ground the, the principles in reality. So having discussed briefly the workshop scenarios, I'm then going to go through the general underlying principles, and that will include off-duty conduct. So where does somebody's uh, conduct outside of work that has a criminal element, where does that necessarily uh, influence the employment relationship? Or, or where might it? So when when does someone's behaviour outside of work impact on on the work relationship? 